Here's my natural gas conversion setup on a Craftsman 5600 watt, 8600 surge gener uh, gasoline generator. I got the kit off the internet through, I believe it's propanegenerators.com. And basically all it is, is a diaphragm for the, this is natural gas, but I can't hook it up to propane. And all it is is the diaphragm regulator right there with the copper T piece at the top has the volume control. And then all it is with it, they send you, you can see it down in there, is a Venturi piece that slides between your carburetor and your air filter setup. And then what I have hooked up for the natural gas is a, I could have went half inch, but I like to overdo things, so I went a three quarter inch hose that runs to my home and this setup I've got a three quarter inch that is coming from a one inch natural gas supply line that I run my generator off of and right below that is a half inch natural gas quick connect hookup that I run my crawfish boiler off of and it works really well I'm about to start it up and show you how it works Another piece of equipment I forgot to show you, this is a tachometer and also an hour meter that I got off of northerntool.com and there's no battery in it, well, there is a small battery but all you do is you take the wire and you wrap it around the spark plug wire and it gives you your RPM which is you need to adjust the gas flow to get your RPM to 3600 uh, revolutions per minute. Alright to start it all I do is turn on the natural gas generator and on the you can't see it on the back of this diaphragm there's a purge natural gas purge button for the diaphragm I hit it twice holding it one second each it's gonna purge the system generator is on the electronic switch is on I put the carburetor on choke RPMs with 3660, which is good. And when I put a load on it, it'll come down to 3100. I mean, uh, sorry, 3610 RPM when I put a load on it. 